Hi there. We know that ionic compounds have crystal lattices with positive ions and negative ions. And when these are dissolved in water, these break into the positive ions and negative ions in water. In the dissolution of an ionic compound in water, there are two forces involved. First, the lattice has to be broken and the constituent sodium and chloride ions have to be separated. So because sodium has a positive charge and chloride ion has a negative charge, energy is required to pull apart the sodium from the chloride ion. In the second step, energy is released in the hydration process. Water molecule is polar. The hydrogen has a small delta positive charge and oxygen has a delta negative charge. So the water molecules orient such that the negative oxygen surrounds the positive sodium ion and the positive hydrogen surrounds the chloride ion. And in this process, sodium chloride gets dissolved in water and energy is released in this hydration process. The definition of lattice energy is the energy released when one mole of ions are brought together from infinity. And the hydration energy is the energy released when one mole of ions undergo hydration. And hydration is used in context of H2O. Uh, but the same concept can be applied in any other polar solvent as well. So the energy released in the solvation process is the energy released in the hydration process minus the energy required to break the crystal lattice of the ionic compound. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.